Explain about the urban planning of Seoul. Uh, so most important, I mean, that, uh, just focusing on the, the urban planning system in Seoul. So, so I will explain about the uh, uh, Seoul master plan, and at the same time, I will also explain about the, uh, the sub-regional plan. Uh, tell you about the uh, downtown development plan. The, you know that under the, the, the urban master plan and the uh, downtown development plans, we will also make a district plan. So I will explain about such a system and at the same time I will talk about these, uh, the compatibilities of planning and so. And that is as a planning system of Seoul. I mean, the, the regional plan usually made by the central governments. That regional plan means that the province plan, in case of the capital region, you know, including the Seoul, Incheon, Gyeonggi province, you know, so we also make the capital region adjustment plan. In case of South Korea, you know, the almost 50% of populations live in the capital region. And the 50% of industry also concentrated in the capital region. So, you know, for these uh, balanced developments of a whole South Korea, you know, so we have to th uh, think about these uh, decentralization policies. So, you know, so in case of these uh, capital region, you know, the regional plan is also called the capital region readjustment plan. If you have some problem, you know, the, especially such as yeah, the, in the transportation plan, you know, the, if we, I mean, that the, if yeah, the subline as it can be built up in these uh, capital region, then the, some the regional governments the, can be stakeholders in the case. So in the case, you know, the, the, the relevant yeah, the regional governments gathered and uh, they make the sectional metropolitan plan under these. Uh, Capital readjustment plan, you know, Seoul government established Seoul master plan. Master plan is yeah, the, the plan every five years. And uh, Seoul master plan is the statutory plan. And uh, this time we, the Seoul government, planned the 2030 Seoul master plan. This master plan was established in 2014. And uh, this Seoul master plan is aimed for to 2030s. So under the Seoul Master Plan, you know, uh, Seoul government also can plan the sub-regional development plan. But sub-regional development plan is a non-statutory plan, so-called guideline. This whole is a so so big city, you know. So the you know that with just the Seoul Master Plan itself, we cannot control whole Seoul. So the Seoul government the divided Seoul with five parts. So uh, about these uh, every f the part sub region, you know, these uh, Seoul governments established the sub regional plan. Under these whole mass plans, these uh, we have the uh, urban management plan. Urban management plan is uh, the so called implement plan, so called you know that is the uh, statutory plan. I mean the uh, the urban management plan has a legal power, you know. So under these uh, urban manage management plan is composed with uh, the full method, you know, full plan. The, the first one is the joining plan. And uh, the second one is uh, the urban redevelopment plan. And third one is the, the district plan. And the fourth is the urban facility plan. You know, zoning plan, I mean, the, the you know already about the joining, so so I will not explain about the joining plan. So you know, it's based on the joining, we can control the land use, and at the same time, we also control the uh, volume of the building and so on. And the uh, second one is the urban redevelopment plan. Urban redevelopment plan is composed with uh, the other the plan. You know, I mean that uh, based on the uh, focus of the development plan. 
I mean that in case of the downtown area, so we also can make the urban redevelopment plan. But in case of the housing, residential area, you know, so we also make these house housing redevelopment plan. And the third one is that this district's plan. I mean that the district's plan is a little bit opposite to the urban redevelopment plan. In case of the urban development plan, you know, these uh, the built up area is uh, uh, must be totally destroyed. The, you know, so for the new developments. But in case of these uh, districts plan, you know, these uh, the old the built up areas has yet uh, their own characteristics. So so we have to keep such a characteristic of these uh, the current situation. So based on these uh, the current situation, you know, the some uh, parts. Uh, can be partially redeveloped. So the, there is the kind of, the, the, such a scale is a kind of these, uh, the aim of district's plan. I will explain next, you know, about this uh, district's plan in Pukchon. The fourth one is uh, the urban facility plan. The, you know, in case of a park load, and the hospitals and these uh, the stadium and so on, you know, such as urban facilities is also planned, you know, controlled by the plan. So these uh, force of urban management is urban facility plan. And uh, you know, there are these uh, under the urban management plan. Even though I wrote down there is the implement plan, that is, um, you know, that is uh, the building plan, construction plan, based on the construction code. You know that the based on these uh, construction codes, we can control these uh, the the building. You know that will be developed, which will be developed in detail. There's a from I will explain about these uh, this whole master plan 2030s whole master plan. This master plans aim for the 2030s, and uh, you know that the. The, in case of the 2030 old mass plan, we change the paradigm to establish the mass plan. You know, before 2030 old mass plan, the plan uh, was at the comprehensive plan. You know, so the before 2030 old mass plan, we have a lot of section. You know, so in these urban plan, like other country. You know, so, I mean, so in your country, you know, so you also. The you also uh, make uh, the, so ma uh, the mass plan, but uh, the, in case of the mass plan, I, I mean it is a general case. You know, the uh, mass plan is composed with uh, several section. You know, some section is uh, the related with transportation, and some section is about the housing. Some section is about the welfare and so on. You know, it was a sectional plan. You know. So the, every section was composed in these uh, of a mass plan. So sometimes you know the the of a mass plan can be considered as something like textbook of urban planning. So we change it these uh, the so uh, the mass plan, the method of the the making mass plan. I mean, so in 2014 we established the 2030 whole mass plan. 2030's whole mass plan uh, was not comprehensive plan, but was strategy plan. You know, so the, in the city, you know, there is some strategies to develop these uh, the city. You know, so we choose the, some strategy points, and uh, we just focused on the strategy point, and based on these uh, such as consideration, we established. 20 so 20 30 so mass plan but how to choose a strategic point it's very important very difficult the issue you know the you know the specialist or so governments can uh, I mean that the could the select strategic points by itself but yet you know that if the the specialist or the central uh, the Seoul government choose a strategic point, then such a strategy point cannot be accepted easily by these uh, citizens. You know, there is a kind of gap between these, the government and the specialists and the citizens. So to establish the 2030 Seoul mass plan, we try to listen to the voice of the citizens. 
So we cannot, we could not ask uh, these uh, whole, mem whole member of citizens, you know, the 10 million people, we could not ask. So we choose 100 person from the citizens based on the gender, based on the age, and uh, based on the job, you know, we, we uh, selected the 100 the people from these uh, citizens. We asked those 100 person, the, what is the strategy point, you know, of uh, developing Seoul, you know, as an urban plan issue. This, the five goals was selected by the 100 person. So 100 persons thought welfare and industries, women problem is very important. At the same time, you know, other, the people choose this industry job. And, uh, you know, the, also the Seoul has a 600 history, long history. So historical issue is also very important to the people. So the history, cultures, the landscape, the, the topographical the circumstance must be kept so the several people also choose these issues as a strategic issue. And uh, environment, energy, safety is very also important. And uh, the city safe, transportation, and so on. This uh, maintenance issue was also selected as a goal. So the, based on the five goals, the, you know, the, the specialists and so government yeah, the choose the 17 detail goals and the 80, uh, 58 implementation strategies. The, in 2030 Seoul Mass Plan, the three center was suggested by these urban planners. The before to 2030 Seoul Mass Plan, there was, uh, I mean, yeah, the, in the urban structure, there was uh, one center and five sub-centers. But, you know, the level of these uh, downtown area was downgraded somehow in 2030s or mass plan. You know, it's because these uh, Gangnam area and Yeongdeungpo area was uh, the developed almost to uh, level of uh, the urban center, you know. So in case of the Yeongdeungpo area, the, this area was specialized in these um, financing industry, finan financial industry. And in case of these uh, Gangnam areas, you know the, the Gangnam area is uh, these, now these, the functions, the almost like the city center, you know. There is a lot of companies and there is a lot of industries. And also the financing is concentrated in this area. So urban planners sought, um, sought to change urban structure from one center to three centers. And the 12 initiatives can be divided with four parts. So first one is the recover and strengthen the identity of Seoul. And second one is enhance global competitiveness of metropolitan areas. And third one is balanced development. This balanced development is also a very big issue, not only uh, in central governments, but also in these whole governments, you know, the Seoul is also experience a huge unbalanced situation. I mean, so between Gangbuk area and Gangnam area. So, such a balanced development is also a very important issue in Seoul governments. And the fourth, last the elements is that the uh, improvement about the improvement in living environment of citizens. You know that the, under these uh, these 2030 so mass plans, our government also established the sub regional plan. You know, so as I told you previously, you know, so when I talk about these uh, urban planning system, so 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 is nowadays uh, divided with five part, and uh, these five five uh, I mean uh, such as uh, division of five part is based on these uh, traffic volumes, traffic flows, and uh, you know. The, the, you know, the, the characters of the people in this place, you know, we think about this. So the Seoul is, can be, Seoul can be the divided with five sub-regions. Now I will explain about the downtown development, development plan. This plan is established the, as a sub-regional plan for city center region. So the plan is, is quite the, you know, the contents of plan is quite in detail comparing with 2030 Seoul Mass Plan. 
the, the frame of the so, uh, downtown development, development plan is quite similar to the 2030s so mass plan because two plan was established parallelly very fortunately you know so you know, sometimes you know that if the plan uh, is yet established in uh, in the gap uh, gap of time you know some contents cannot be that could not be compatible with each other but yet yeah, this plan uh, was established uh, parallelly so the try to the, the urban planner try to keep the compatibilities with the 2030s or mass plan so because of that you know the frame of these uh, sub regional plan for Center, city center region is quite similar to the 2030 mass plan. So, you know, in case of these downtown development plan, these urban planner choose representatives also so like these 2030, 2030 so mass plan. But in their case, we just choose 50 the person. Why 50? You know, so with 50 representatives the, uh, from citizens in uh, city center region, you know, so we uh, made uh, the vision and goals and uh, goals, and uh, based on this opinion of these representatives, 50 representatives, so we, the urban planners uh, made a special plan. That is these, um, the, special, the main principle of special plans by the urban planner for these uh, uh, city center region. You know, at first, you know, as I told you previously, the Seoul was built up following the Feng Shui theory and the, the Confucianism theory. So, such as the, the, the you know, the, such as the main frame must be kept. So, you know, the, the development in this area must be the, in harmony with national and historical features. And uh, as you know, in case of downtown area, the speed of development is quietly long because in downtown area, there, there are a lot of stakeholders. So to the develop this area, you know, we have to talk with the whole, uh, whole stakeholders. So uh, usually the, the development time is long, you know, in downtown area. So the, to develop in this area, these planners must be the long-term plan, you know, in consideration of regional features. And uh, you know that the, in downtown area, some elements can be connected to each other. Even though these uh, green network, the plan was disappeared, you know, the, in, 90, uh, in 2040s, we try to connect the, between uh, Royal Shrine to Namsan through the, the Seun Sangha. And uh, at the same time, you know, the, the urban planner also think about this building height control. Uh, at first, I, as I told you about this, uh, the mountain, height of mountain, height of the Naksan mountains. So the downtown area surrounded with four mountains. Among four mountains, Naksan is the lowest mountain. So, you know, in the city center, uh, from the city center to the four mountain, the, I mean, that such a view is very important to us because yeah, the whole was made in the harmony with nature. So the view to the Naksan, view to Namsan, view to Pukaksan, view to the Inangsan is very important. So, uh, but uh, you know, that if, uh, if high rise buildings, uh, the is that the built up in downtown area, you know, the high rise building can blockade these, uh, the view, you know, to these, uh, the mountains around this hole. So the planners the, the suggest these, uh, the, the building height control. So highest, the height of the building is under these, the height of Naxan mountains in downtown area. The, at the same time, you know, so in downtown area, we can find out some heritage you know, the downtown area in a whole world was yeah, the capital city in Joseon dynasty. So because of that, a lot of heritage in there. So to keep these, uh, the heritages, to conserve the heritages, the such a heritage must be the cate uh, categorizing. So the, after the categorizing just the heritages, the, we uh, have to choose a suitable approach. 
how to keep such a heritage based on the characteristics of the heritage. So the, uh, the heritage was divided with five sorts. So Seoul city wall, all the roads, all the stream, urban tissue, the landscape, building, structure, valid heritages, and the heritage with social values, old stores such as, you know, these old barber shops, the old restaurants, and so on, you know, such heritages also the, uh, should also be kept, you know, in downtown area. There is a kind of main direction, you know, and based on these uh, principle and uh, main approaches, the you know these uh, the urban planner also suggests the development direction in detail. So the downtown area was divided the seven sections, and uh, each section also the subdivided. So based on the sub-regional plan, based on the downtown development plan, the planners in Seoul should make. Uh, the district's plan or the urban redevelopment plan in detail.